Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Underwater Dreams, and uh, we, today we're going to be talking about uh, tank cycling. And I'm going to give you some tricks about how to get rid of your dinos and cyanobacteria as well in your reef tank. Okay, guys, to kickstart the aquarium cycling, we need to have some kind of bacteria. So, in my way of uh, reefing, I'm going to be using this uh, bio digest from Brody Bio. Okay, you guys see this? This is what I used. Okay, this is some bacteria comes in a uh, capsule for glass capsule see that secure on both sides and what you have to do is that you break this on the edges and the bacteria drops in your tank and kickstarts the ammonia cycle to be nitrogenized okay guys to kickstart this this is what I used okay so I'm gonna be showing you in a while how to use this and also we get the carbon source from the pretty bio which is the carbon source what is a carbon source carbon source is a food source for the bacteria introduced in the water so this is the bio team from the pretty bio as well in the capsules okay and also you can use this uh no box okay i'm gonna show you now how to do this uh how to use these bacteria okay so this one is the bio i told you this is pretty bio and this comes in the wheels glass wheels okay so but, uh, this is about 30 years so those this uh, every one month I use this every one month after what change so I put this how you gonna use this is that see that that's a blue color line on the edges okay, okay. they provide you with these uh, rubber tubings okay you already use that Gonna put this on top here and then just by slight pressure on your hand we're gonna break this off the tip okay see that breaks off okay and then the other side it won't come out okay it's only one side broken and then uh, you need to break the other side as well okay guys so this side when you break this up you're gonna pour directly on your tank so i prefer you to put this on a high flow area where it can be dispersed quickly okay now you can see it's gonna be breaking off and then the bacteria are gonna be dropping off on the water and this is how you use this uh, bacteria solution for your tank cycling okay for this one you can use monthly dosing as well because uh, once it gets depleted, there's nothing wrong. You can be using for one month, months, months, and keep on uh, having the bacteria in the water so your levels are stable. Okay. Once you have uh, uh, all the bacteria solution in your water, just put it in your deep this uh, glass well in your tank water, and take it off, and you can wash it away. And now this is. Okay. okay guys this is how you use the solution uh, in your water the next thing is that i'm going to be showing you how to use this carbon source this is carbon source remember i told you carbon source is the food source for the bacteria so they provide by pretty bio provide as well the carbon source for uh, for bacteria to thrive so they can uh, multiply and then deplete the ammonia levels so the uh, nitrates level in the water also the phosphate levels okay guys how to use this? This is the same way as well. That's how you used your uh, bacteria. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna open this box. Open this box. Can you see this? I'm gonna get one. Now, okay. You see this? This is the bacteria solution. Give some a shake so everything mixes up. But actually, it's nothing to mix about. Uh, just in case something on the edge of the glass as you can see okay that's a white line on the both edges okay what you do is that also provided with this uh, some rubber tubing here what you do is that you put it on the edge and then break off the tip on the top first okay once you break off And once you break off, you can just 
at the tip on the side of the tank or throw it away and then here back to the well here it doesn't drop so off okay because the other edge is not breaking off okay once you broke off this uh, edge on the other side it's gonna drop directly on the tank so I prefer you to put it directly on a tank water which is, has a high flow area which is a written tank nozzle or whatsoever or your wave make close a uh, hit okay now I'm gonna put it on top of this okay you saw that that's how you use this works and also I have uh, experience using them and my tanks actually been cycled for one month so the levels are dropping very fast as well for the ammonia and the nitrates so I prefer you guys to use this as well if you don't have a chance but then if you have a chance please use this as well this way you can cycle the tank very fast and also without any problems by side products or side uh, effects okay yeah, that's how you use this pretty bio products okay guys they have a wide variety of other products as well only these two i am using okay guys hope you guys have a clue on how to cycle the tank first of all you start the cycle uh, so that you get rid of the ammonia and the nitrate and to, and to convert it to nitrogen gas in your aquarium so these are the bacteria that's going to be helping you to break down so guys if you don't have this bacteria it's going to be taking some time and some some reefers do that with the, the shrimp meat or fish meat or even you can start with the damsel fish or clown fish in which is the hardy fish in your reef tank so to kick start the cycle so by using this bacteria it takes uh, less time and uh, and cycle fast so my tank and reef tank is about uh, four months old now so i started with my live frogs and also some of it is a dry rock as well so what how you know you have this uh, cycle is breaking down and you need to do your water test okay guys you need to do your ammonia test you know you need to do your nitrate test so that you know as a level is so guys uh, water test is something necessary in your reef tank so that you know where's your level of calcium, KH or your magnesium is and also where's your nutrient level. Normally a uh, tank cycle with uh, bacteria takes about uh, 2 months to 3 months time and then uh, you can uh, see the levels dropping of your nitrates or phosphates and also the zero level of ammonia. Why zero level of ammonia? Because ammonia is very little for the uh, fishes in your in the high levels in the, even though it's present in a low level it can create some sickness in your fish so it's very high highly contagious for your fish so guys keep your levels in ammonia very low and nitrates is low as well but nitrates is going to be tolerable for your fish but they can create some eggs in your fish so now you can introduce your fish make sure your level of nitrate is below 25 Okay, so that you uh, can you have your fish uh, in, a, in, a, in a way that your fish can survive as well at least, okay? So guys, you need to have some patience. Main thing in the reefing is that patience and patience. What happens during the cycling process is that the bacteria you introduce in a tank, you're going to be occupying your biomedias, which is the marine pure and sephorax kind of rocks, in your, in your uh, in some area. Then it's going to keep on multiplying and then what happens is that it's going to break down the ammonia to nitrates and then the nitrate is going to be broken down to nitrogen gas naturally by the bacteria so this is why you introduce a bacteria in your tank so we can add up the calls soon okay so first of all you need to test your water on your ammonia and the ammonia levels is too high that means your bacteria isn't populating yet they don't rush and expect a result overnight okay you need to give some time for the tank to mature and then and eventually it's going to give you beautiful results okay the thing is the reefing is very easy you don't complicate it with the chemicals and other things i don't use them so by natural way you can have your reef tank thriving as well you can actually have the results before high so guys this is how i cycle my tank and this is the way i cycle my tank using a bacteria solution from pretty bio so guys it's very quick and a very natural way no chemicals involved in this process guys and uh, take some patience as well if you're gonna be rushing this is not the way actually so guys having a good skimmer and uh, having a good tv light gonna reduce the uh, dinoflagellates no dinoflagellates and uh, no uh, cyanobacteria you can see here okay uh, good uh, water flow is so recommended as well okay guys Guys, you can see all the fishes are thriving and all the fishes are fed and also my only coral is there surviving all this while because it's, uh, it's a natural way guys and the next step I'm going to be doing is that 
hose type of hose, which is the water, where I get the water from, which is RODI. RODI water is must to have in your reef aquarium because why? RODI is what is necessary for your reef tank. No RODI, you're going to be accumulating your nitrate and phosphate in your tank. So, guys, next video I'm going to be doing is that. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Till then, please take care and um, please, please be safe wherever you guys are. Till then, take care, guys.